Okay, yes, today again, talking about the uh, differences between different types of Tai Chi, or even differences when you see the same form being done by two different people. Uh, remember when you get more advanced, uh, as you progress, you're loosening up on the inside, so your body structure, you have to work with this, your height, your width, your weight, and all the variances in different people's bodies, but the principle is still the same in terms of keeping your alignment and your balance and learning how to control your feet and your leg muscles correctly so that you can keep your balance under pressure. So uh, you learn the form and each move has different things it can train you to do in terms of adapting to a situation. And then you have uh, the sensing hands, drills or pushing hands which is not really completely what people perceive it to be, just trying to push each other because then everybody has a tendency to just push and shove and they forget about the techniques that you're supposed to be developing by learning various levels of sensitivity training, by touching and staying soft and knowing when to use firm pressure, learning when to lighten the pressure up, learning how to combine the soft and the hard Make sure your power is coming all the way up from your feet, not just shooting from the hip or the shoulder or a little bit of waist power. Is it using your ankle, your knee, your hip, your shoulder, elbow? Is it using your shoulder blade? You gotta make sure everything is coming out with your technique. So this is why you wanna learn how to relax and stay upright. And even though you see a little bending in the chain style, uh, the idea is that realistically, most people are not training enough to even think about doing everything perfect in any situation and perfection is just a goal that nobody really ever hits. So when we do push hands training, the last time you saw we did a more formalized drill from another style of Taiki, which is usually big expanded using the circular motion to build up your back and your leg strength. Now this is the same move, like you say, essentially you see an attack you're practicing getting your deflection going, you're learning how to do elbow check, and then the press is a special technique to help when somebody's trying to grab your arm, but we'll illustrate that on another video. But see, for instance, he's going for an arm lock, you can stop this, cool. this goes like? a rebound force. When, so like, say for instance, somebody tries to snatch your arm, okay, let go of the, uh, when they catch you, you have to be sensitive enough to catch them before they get the full lock on you. So this is why you fold quick and then redirect because they're, they're trapped by holding on to your bone and then you hit them in the center. So they have to yield quickly because the situation's constantly changing. That's why I don't teach people applications because there's no real absolute situation at any given time. You need to figure that stuff out for yourself. So we're flowing in the other drill and now in the softer version, what we just saw is in the chain school, they don't really worry about form, but they worry about the structure. So we're doing the same move, but you don't really see what's going on. And we're pressing, get the same flow. See, essentially what's going on. See, here's a push. The idea is he's really trying to push or pin my shoulder. So what I have to do is, as I feel his pressure coming in, I, I'm still turning to the side, even though you don't realize it. And then I'm here. So he has to attack my center quick. And then I move my center and try to get back to him. So it's really a drill of moving your center out of the way, turning to redirect force. But as opposed to just being long distance, doing everything with the arm, you want to stay within clinching range too. So that other things should be happening. You could be attacking the hip. See, then you have to learn how to yield. And see, you notice how he comes. Every time you try to do a trap, you're catching the elbow and wrist like an arm bar. And then I have to get, try to yield or fold with that. And then neutralize and try to come back in or get under, then he has to push. And we're just flowing and it can change directions at any given time. And then later they're stepping where you would try to, you can actually attack and step. And then the person has to try to time your footwork. So it becomes almost like a dance and the feet can randomly change, but you still have to keep your balance and stick to the opponent as best as possible. So that's what this is all about. Then that leads into what we you always see called the freestyle, and you keep your arms loose and let your body learn how to go 
with the pressure of force because the reality is you're going to get hit sometimes. So when you get hit, do you know how to go with it? But don't just go with it. When you go with it, make sure you have something coming back for the counterbalance because your attack can borrow his force and return the same force of the strike back to the opponent and, and also helps you set up a different situation. So when you see these flow trainings, try to flow instead of rumble with one another. You can rumble now and then, but first get your technique together and then you'll find it's very hard for somebody to rumble with you. That's the idea behind Tai Chi. You're supposed to be able to neutralize uh, the person's power and then redirect their force. Okay.